High School in historic Wellsburg, West Virginia. WTRF proudly presents Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall. Tonight's guest, Bergman. Welcome to another edition of Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall. And tonight we are joined by Pittsburgh's ultimate superhero, Bergman. Thank you for coming in, Bergman. Hey, thank you for having me, Nathan. Appreciate it. Appreciate the get up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to ask you some rapid fire, short answer questions because I want to know as much about Bergman as I can in a very short amount of time. And I'm going to call this section of our show, Who is the Bergman? And these are going to be short questions. Just answer them as quickly as possible. And they're going to test your superhero knowledge, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Right. Are you ready, Bergman? Yes. All right. Question one. What are your superpowers, Bergman? I have numerous superpowers. It, one, the biggest superpower is the ability to help persuade people. Ooh. I can persuade people to take a look at what they're doing and figure out what's the best solution. Like a lawyer. I'm yeah, Jack Your Honor. exactly. <laughs> Only to do the right thing. Yeah, except you're not corrupt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Very good thing. Yes. And you don't look like a rat. Question number two. How difficult is it to wear spandex? It's not bad at all, actually. <laughs> wow. It's comfortable, particularly in sub-zero weather when I'm flying. Yeah. It, it helps a lot. Well, you, when you're flying, you definitely need to wear something because you can't just show up in gym shorts and be like, I'm a superhero. Right, exactly. That's for sure. Perfect. All right, number three, who is your arch nemesis? My arch nemesis right now is the Phantom Three. Mm -hmm. And they actually one time had banished me to a parallel universe jerks. How did you get out of it? Well, I was able to come back through a TV set. So you're telling me that this interview could possibly save the city of Pittsburgh someday? Well, that's what I'm hoping. That's awesome. We're like super friends. Yeah, absolutely. You may get a cape out of this. I would probably wet my pants and okay. it would not be pretty. Okay. But you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Number four. Did you fall into a vat of toxic chemicals to get your superpowers? You know what happened? One day when I was skating, I ran into a wall, and when I woke up, I had a crazy, incredible superpowers. Did you ever think it might be a concussion? That was a possibility. <laughs> it still might be the side effect. Yeah, it could be a side effect. I'm still not sure. Hey, it's a good side effect. You're doing yeah. great things, though. Yeah, good things have happened. Yeah. Has Bergman ever been mistaken for famous rapper Birdman? No, I think Birdman copied my style. I think so, too. You know what? He can't even rollerblade. No, I, I would not say that he could. Yeah, because I can rap probably better than him. Uh, his song makes you want to get angry and punch something. Yeah, exactly. And see, me, I want people to have laughter. I'll tell you what. He should be your arch nemesis next one. He, he may be. <laughs> <laughs> Last question for you, Bergman. What is your weakness? My weakness is for me to know and for everybody else to never find out. Well played, sir. Well played. You are indeed a superhero with super mental powers. I definitely tried to trick you on that. You did not fall for it. On a scale of Batman to Aquaman, of course, Batman being the best and Aquaman, of course, being the absolute worst, where does Bergman belong? Well, thinking about Aquaman, his, his whole thing is watered down. Yeah, he's pretty lame. Yeah, he's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Batman hangs upside down. Yeah. I'm always right side up, so I'd have to put myself above the Batman. Hey, pretty high up there. I have to yeah, see a, pretty... a couple examples here. So right. I think what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to go outside, and you're going to show us a couple of your superhero talents, and I will determine, are you above Batman on the superhero spectrum? Does that sound good? That sounds great. you got to stand back a little because you'll be blinded by the light. All right, let's go outside and check out this awesomeness. All right. All right, Bergman, you're lit up with your superpowers here, and one of the first steps of being a superhero is to have extremely high level of intelligence. And you being a Pittsburgh superhero that you are, I have some Pittsburgh-based questions that you have never seen before. We're going to ask you these questions and see if you really are indeed Pittsburgh's finest superhero. Are right. you ready? Yes, ready. Question number one. Name three Pittsburgh firsts. Three Pittsburgh firsts. Mm-hmm. The polio vaccine was developed in Pittsburgh. Also, the first atomic submarine engine. How about the Ferris wheel? That was developed in Pittsburgh. Those are all the right. The first radio station in the world, KDKA. 
They're one-upping me, I see. Yeah, the first aluminum-faced building oh in the world. goodness. Pittsburgh has a lot of firsts. Well, let's go to question number two, smarty pants. Or should I say smarty tights? There you go. How many bridges does Pittsburgh have? I got you here. 446. That's correct. 446. Yes, uh, 446. And last one. This is going to be a tough one because you don't know who I think is famous. Name three famous people from Pittsburgh. Yes, Art Rooney, Andrew Carnegie, Bill Cower, oh. Andy Warhol, Perry Como. Oh, my goodness. You are indeed very smart at Pittsburgh knowledge. And yeah. you have passed your intelligence of Pittsburgh test. A lot of famous people from Pittsburgh. Dan Marino. Dan. Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Well, of course, like every great superhero, Bergman is everywhere. You are on every single thing ever, it seems like. You have your own comic book. Which yes, is I have all my uh, different comic books, different yeah, episodes. Four different ones. Yeah. And then you also have a Saris candy bar, which is amazing. Uh, Look at this. Yeah, Bergman Super Chocolate Almond Bar by Saris Candies. This is so cool. Awesome. Yeah. You can't help but to laugh and smile when you have a Bergman Super Almond Chocolate Bar. They're the best. Take a bite out of the crime. Yeah, eat exactly. A eat a Bergman candy yeah, bar. There you go. Well, not only do you have your own candy bar, you have the healthy option, which is bottled water. Bergman, Bergman bottled water. Bergman super water. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be black and yellow, but, I mean, does it give you superpowers? Absolutely. It's sold only to super people. Wow. It increases your physical strength 100 times and your brain power, so there's no telling what may happen after you drink it. So pro athletes cannot drink this water? Well, probably not. <laughs> it's loaded with steroids. Right. It's got tons, <laughs> tons and tons of steroids. <clears throat> Above all this, though, you have your very own Bergman shuffle. Well, here's the thing about the Bergman shuffle, and I didn't really want to tell people this before, uh -huh. but no party is complete without a Bergman shuffle contest. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, because you know what? People were just doing all kinds of crazy things, and it's so funny that it's just, you know, nonstop laughter. Yeah, and you guarantee on your website that it's a laugh a second success, which I think kind of sounds painful, but if you can get past that, it sounds like a great time, but how on earth do we do this thing right here, the Bergman Shuffle? That's the nice thing about the Bergman Shuffle. Every time it plays, you want to move in a different way. Yeah, it's very much like a hippie song. Kind yeah, of. exactly. All right, so we're going to play a little bit of this Bergman Shuffle. We're just going to go for it. I yeah, guess. absolutely. So okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. All right, yeah. Uh -huh. So you just move, uh -huh. man. Just move and groove. You've you got to move to the shuffle. I get it moving. Get what, your what feet if you brush down. your shoulders off? Can you yeah, do that? brush your shoulders. You know, everybody has their own style. To be a superhero, you have to have superior strength, and I don't know if you have it. Well, that's why I drink Bergman Super Water. Yeah, that's a good point. You see these? Yeah. These were meteorites that fell out of the sky a long time ago. Okay. And I picked them up, and that's when I knew what Bergman Super Water could do. Oh. And you know what? These weigh over a thousand pounds each. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't believe that. I know a lot of people don't. Let me hold Try it. Yeah. Go. Go. Oh my gosh! I try to tell you. <laughs> Oh. See, that's what happens when people don't realize the kind of strength the Bergman has. I think my shoulders got ripped out. Well, for those who don't know, everything you do is for a cause. And you even have your very own Bergman Oath, which you have kids say and adults alike. And the Bergman Oath goes, I promise to listen to my parents and teachers and to not smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, take drugs, or be violent. I will treat everyone with respect, and I promise to become the best I can be, which is, is very nice. And one of our students here, a freshman, Christian Slavic, has a question about that. And he says this. How do things like the Bergman Oath, your Bergman persona, and your many Bergman talents help youth develop their minds and athletic ability? And that's a great question. How does that help youth? Well, one of the things my career and life has taught me is everything that there is that is healthy uh -huh. comes from a healthy mind. I've had a lot of photo ops with, with people all over the city for years. Yeah. And the first thing is to attract them to you. And once you get their, your, their attention, then you try to help find what the greatest talents they have and encourage people to do the best they can mm -hmm. and find out what their gifts and talents are. Well, you've known me for a couple minutes. What do you think my talent is that I should develop? What is your talent? You're great with, you're a great communicator. 
Yeah, you have a, a, a good stage presence. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping to see you on uh, either America's Got Talent or American Idol something. You've got <laughs> hidden talents. I'll combine them. America's Got Idol. Yeah, there And I'll just go. worship idols. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be very blasphemous and not good. It won't get good ratings, but whatever. And I think you have some type of hidden talents that you don't want anybody to know about. So can you tell me what I can one do of this with is? my mouth. Yeah, you know what? You may be better off developing speech. <laughs> okay, Bergman, you have passed two of three challenges to become Pittsburgh's finest superhero. And now agility. That's where we're at, agility. Can you pass this test? I don't, I'm not sure. What are you going to do for us? Well, I'm the only rollerblading juggler in the world. I don't, I don't even believe you can do that. You don't think so? No, I don't well, think anybody can do that. Well, I'm going to prove it to you. Well, let's see it. Let's see this agility you've got here. All right, here we go. Well, you definitely are the greatest superhero I've ever seen, for sure, Bergman. That is a fact. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Now I've used up all my plutonium trying uh, to get here. Sorry. Do you have uh, change? I'm going to need change for the airplane. Oh, I'm not. Oh, oh my gosh, your wallet's on oh. fire. You have change for a million dollar bill? Yeah. Um, I have a 20. Yeah, I could take it. That'll work. Well, again, we've been joined tonight by Pittsburgh's own caped crusader, Bergman. Thanks again, Bergman. Bergman. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Thank you for having me. And you can learn more about fighting crime or learning or education or Bergman himself by visiting. Bergman.com. And for Ohio Valley Tonight, this has been Nathan Marshall. Shuffle.